So last week, Microsoft announced that they're going to be removing a part of SharePoint, a part of SharePoint that's been in place for over 10 years. In this video, we're going to break down what that news was and how it's going to affect you so that you can prepare your environment to make sure nothing breaks. So the part of SharePoint that's going to be taken out is called the SharePoint add-in model. This is how developers used to make customizations for SharePoint. If you wanted custom web parts, then you were going to use this SharePoint add-in model to create those web parts. Nowadays, we use SharePoint framework to develop any custom web parts. But before this was available, the only option was the SharePoint add-in model. This has been around for about 11 years or so. So it's actually had a very long life. Microsoft supported this extensibility model for a long time, a lot longer than other vendors will support some Thing like this but it's an old model it really doesn't have the same fancy features that the sharepoint framework has so as part of keeping everything current in sharepoint microsoft's removing support for the sharepoint add-in model so what this means for you is if you've got old web parts hanging around especially ones that came from the on-premise world like sharepoint 2019 sharepoint 2016 things like that and you've carried those over into sharepoint online then chances are they are going to be using that sharepoint add-in model the only way to know for sure is you're going to need to talk to your developer that creates created this or if it's a third party solution even if it came from the SharePoint app store you need to contact that vendor to see if that was using the SharePoint add-in model and if so then hopefully they've rewritten this already to use the SharePoint framework instead of the SharePoint add-in model that'll keep your environment secure and running after the cutoff date which we're about to talk about. So let's start talking about the important dates that are going to affect you. First, in March of 2024, Microsoft will stop allowing developers to submit new web parts and customization for SharePoint in the App Store that are using the add-in model. And if you read into that, what that means is today, you can still submit new customizations to the App Store and sell them to customers that are using the add-in model. This is something you definitely want to pay attention to if you are buying or using anything from the App Store or have done it recently. Any of those things could be using the add-in model. That's something you want to double check before you start to adopt a new application from the App Store. Next is July 2024. This is the date you can no longer install applications from the App Store that are using the add-in model. Next, in about 11 months from now, November 2024, new tenants will no longer be able to install any apps using the add-in model. And finally, for everyone else, April 2026 is when all add-in support will be removed completely from everybody else. It's also the date that the SharePoint 2013 workflows will stop working as well. So a lot of legacy capability is being removed from SharePoint Online. Now, luckily this means you've got over two years to get ready for this cutoff date so that anything you're using, you have time to either rewrite using the SharePoint framework or find a new source for this functionality using a supported technology. Now, I know I've thrown a lot of technical information at you. Here's the bottom line. If you're a customer of a third-party developed solution, you need to contact them to see, was this developed using the SharePoint add-in model? And if so, what are their plans to move that to a supported technology? And if you're a developer who developed something, even for the on-prem world that you've just moved over into SharePoint Online, then you'll wanna double check your code to see, was this using the SharePoint framework or was this using the SharePoint add-in model? But you've got plenty of time to move to SharePoint framework well ahead of this April 2020 26 deadline. Now, we've definitely gotten a lot of important news here lately from Microsoft. A lot of this has come out of Ignite. For instance, the SharePoint Premium announcement, in case you hadn't heard of that, there's a premium add-on available for SharePoint Online. And if you want to see my full breakdown into all the news for that, then click over into this video and I'll see you over there.